Hello investors, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the top six penny stocks for the month of January 2021. So this is going to be our first video for 2021. Obviously, every single month we make these videos on penny stocks that have some FDA, PDUFA, phase one, two, three data. So obviously what that means is they have drugs that are either going to be approved or not be approved, obviously, depending on the news and the data that they came out with their research. In the past month, we've had a huge winner in our portfolio. So we had BNGO. We called this one out when it was trading here around 92 cents, about a dollar per share. Now it's trading at four dollars and two cents on Friday after hours. It was up about 30 percent after hours, 46 percent during the day. So the stock went from one dollar to four dollars. That is a 300 percent gain that we made right there. So I'll give you an example. If you had invested one thousand dollars into this stock right now, it'd be worth four thousand dollars just on this one stock. So if you guys don't want to miss out a chance on one of these penny stocks like this, continue watching this video. The first penny stock we're going to be looking at for the month of January is going to be ticker symbol CALA, currently trading at four dollars ninety one cents. This stock has a drug CB-839. This drug is going to be a phase two. So this drug is going to be late fourth quarter of 2020, early first quarter of 2021, obviously. So right here, we're going to be looking at this one. So this stock was trading down here at around $3, you know, $3.50 at the beginning of 2020. It went up all the way to about $7.85. It wasn't a penny stock anymore. But throughout those months, the stock has pulled back down here. And then what do we see right here? We see a support. It hit the previous support here that it was in March. So it hit that support, bounced off of it, and then pulled back down again to that support. So the support is going to be here around its $3.34, $3.50 area. And then the stock continued to trend on up now. Volume is at around 1 million shares every single day, close to it. And now actually even here, volume picked up at 2.5 million shares, uh, 2 million shares. The stock went from about $4.91 all the way to about six dollars right there and then made a pullback now what we're going to be looking at is obviously for this one to continue to move further as the news is coming up um, and that's something we're going to be looking at with volume as well because volume is another key player with these penny stocks as long as volume continues to pick up throughout these next few days this one could come back up and shoot past that six dollar area and continue to trend up and make new highs if we can get through that resistance at seven dollars this one could continue all the way up to eight dollars nine dollars after that so obviously a couple of things is we need some data to come out with this one some positive news and uh, volume obviously that's those are the two big key players with any penny stock you need volume and you need some news or some hype around the penny stock in order for it to trend on up um, a lot of these penny stocks tend to move on up you know on the hype and sometimes even with positive news the stock might have a sell-off or a sell the news type situation after the, um, the news so this one could potentially be a good player and we're going to keep an eye out on it the second penny stock on our list is going to be ticker symbol tyme this one is trading at one dollar and 22 cents it was up about six percent on friday the drug that is being looked at with this one is going to be sm-88 time-88 panic this is going to be a phase 2-3 and it's going to be on january 17 2021 so if we take a look at time right here this stock was trading around 90 cents when the rona hit the stock hit here about one dollar and seventy cents and then made a pullback just like the previous stock actually that we talked about and then it came back down to the support at about 85 cents per share and then continued to trend on up and volume is very very low i mean this stock is only trading around 300 400 thousand shares per day uh short term and midterm this stock is actually bullish so you know analysts have this one as bullish in the near future if we take a look here, you know, this stock is actually trading from 94 cents all the way here to a high of about $1.25, $1.35, and then it pulled back down. Now, what we're going to be looking for is, once again, for volume to pick up. We need volume to pick up in the next few weeks going into this event that's going to be happening in January. And obviously, if that can happen and this stock can, you know, break through this $1.50 area once again, then the next resistance that we see is going to be here at $1.75. Once it breaks that $1.75 resistance, the next one after that is going to be around that $2 area. And that, you know, once we beat that you know, resistance, then we have, you know, new highs to hit. And that's something we're going to be following with time and hoping that this one can explode on up for us. And that's going to be something that we're going to be looking forward to in January. If you guys made it this far into the video, go ahead and smash that like button for us. Let's try to get 100 plus likes on this video. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. Leave a comment below. What penny stocks are you going to be looking at right now? Or what penny stocks are you buying right now in January? And now the third penny stock we're going to be looking at is going to be CYCC. So this one actually has two different events. The stock is trading at $7.81. The first drug they're going to be looking at is CYC140. It's going to be for leukemias. 
and it's going to be a phase one on 2020 or dash 2021 obviously phase one trial and down here we have another one this is the drug that is going to be looked at it's going to be another phase one dash two and it's going to be a once again in 2021 beginning of 2021 and that's going to be another stock we're going to be looking at right now so cyc this stock has a support the support level is going to be here around this four dollar area three dollar and a half area um once you can see right here is volume is a huge player with this one so it went from four dollars with volume 11 million shares and then three million shares traded this stock went from four dollars all the way to a high here about eight dollars and 45 cents so the stock made about a hundred percent gain which is a huge huge gain obviously and the stock you know bounced off of that high and pulled back down to about seven dollars right now it is a little bit high you know price to getting out of that penny stock area but we're still going to keep it on this list because i think it's going to have some potential especially since it has two different drugs that we're going to be looking at and they're just the beginning stages so this one is going to have some huge huge potential going throughout 2021 as more data comes out with both of these different events even if one of them is going to be negative the other one could potentially drive the stock price up as um, you know more data comes out with it and maybe some positive news which is something that we always look forward to and you know hope the volume continues to pick up with this stock uh, you've seen what it's done in the past. I mean, usually it trades around 70 or 100,000 shares every single day. But once it hits that 10 million shares in one day, the stock just booms. So volume is a very, very key player with any penny stock in general, especially this one right here, CYCC. The fourth penny stock on our list is going to be KMDA, currently trading at $6.48. This drug is going to be plasma-derived IgG product. It's going to be for the Rona, and it's going to be a phase 1-2. The phase 1-2 trial is going to be right here, and if we take a look at this chart, this stock was trading around $4.70, $4.50 when the Rona started. It hit highs here of about you know, $11 or $12, actually, but it pulled back down, and now we're trying to build up a new support. So if we take a look here, previous uh, resistance areas are beginning to be our you know current support area. So the previous resistance area here at the beginning of the year at $7. Now our current support level is here around $6.50, $7. So this is going to be our support. We're hoping to build out this support. As you can see here, it bounced before on this support on 5-19-2020. So this is going to be our support. We're hoping to build off of this, consolidate the stock, and then volume to pick up. I mean, here usually it trades around 100,000 shares, but you can see when volume pops a little bit, the stock tends to pop as well. Uh, we, we've had five and a half million shares here when the stock, you know, trended on up. So what we're going to be hoping for is obviously for a consolidate, get some volume and start to move back on up. If we can continue to do that, break through this $9 resistance, this stock can shoot on up. So we're going to be looking for more positive data, obviously, with this one going into 2021, especially in January with the event that they have. And we're going to be seeing what happens with this one. Coming in at the number five spot for penny stocks for January is going to be LPCN. This one is actually trading at $1.36. It was up about 4% on Friday at the close. The drug that is being looked at is going to be LPCN 1144. It's going to be a phase two, so it's made it further on through the stages, and it's going to be in January 2021. If we take a look at this one on the chart, this chart is amazing. This is going to be my favorite pick, actually, of the month. This stock was trading at around 32 cents when the Rona started, and the stock has been trending on up pretty much throughout the year. Made a high here about $2.23, and then we made a pullback. So right here, the stock has hit a support and built a new support around $1.20. It you know, went up a little bit, pulled back down, went up, pulled back down to the previous support, pulled back up once again to about $1.69, and then we pulled back down to the support and bounced off. So it seems to have bounced off three times off of the support area at $1.20. What we're going to be hoping for here is for it to bounce off of the support one, one more time and then volume to pick up. So if we can see here, volume has been you know a lot in the previous month, 17 million shares, 22 million shares. Uh, you know, one or two million shares right here. Usually it trades around 500,000 shares. We're going to be hoping for it to bounce off. If we can break through this resistance area at around $1.70, it could move all the way up to about $2.25. If we break through that resistance, the stock is going to continue to trend on up. So obviously we need some positive data to come out with this one and volume to continue up. Maybe you get some hype, you know, trending on one of these websites, obviously. Get some hype around this one with the news. And if it has positive news, it could be a runner. It could be a very nice runner. We could make about 100% gain on this stock. And I'm going to be looking uh, very closely at this one in the month of January. And then last but not least, the number six penny stock for January is going to be Mist. It's currently trading at $6.70. The drug that is being looked at is going to be right here. And it's going to be a phase three. So this one's made it even further into the stages than the previous one. And it's going to be, you know, in, in 2021-2022. And let's take a look actually right here at the chart. So this stock um, had some negative news here in the previous times. The stock went down all the way down to about $1.87. So 
this stock was trading around that price. And then we have some positive news here. Shares, we 224 million shares traded. Stock went from $3 all the way to about $8.90. So about a 150% gain, a little bit higher than that. The stock traded there for pretty much the whole year. Pulled back down a little bit. We're consolidating around this $5, $6 area, hopefully building a support area. If this support gets built right here, then we can you know, continue to trend on up after that. So what we're going to be looking for is, once again, volume. This, this stock only trades around 100,000 shares per day. So the volume is very, very low on this one. Uh, and as you can see, when volume picks up, this stock tends to boom. So this one is very, very low volume. Uh, we're going to be looking for some data to come out with this one. It's going to be a phase three. So obviously, we're going to be looking forward to the next stage after that. If we have some positive news with it, this one can continue to trend on up. And if we can break through that $10 area, obviously, the stock won't be a penny stock anymore, but it will continue to boom and continue to make new highs after that. And that's what we're going to be looking forward to. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the first you know, video of January. This is going to be our first penny stocks, the FDA, PUFA data, phase one, two, or three. Um, obviously, we make penny stock videos every single week, actually. But the other penny stocks we talk about is just penny stocks with potential throughout the year. So if you guys are interested in those type of videos, stick around with the channel because we talked about BNGO and this stock has, you know, exploded in the past month. And, you know, if you missed out on this one, uh, you should stay subscribed to this channel. So make sure you smash that like button for us. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Leave a comment below letting me know what do you think about these penny stocks. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.